So, one thing, um, I don't know what you did last summer, I'm about to step out um, at Applebee's to like where I'm at and give me a beer and try to chat me up some. By the way, you gotta like the streaming experience because I get Hulu, Netflix, and YouTube TV for like $89 total, but I got I purchased a stock yesterday, Fubu TV, and I'm doing a Fubu TV stock analysis. For now on, if I have to do a Snoop Dogg thing to draw attention to something I'm passionate about, I am. I don't really like politics, but I feel this is one of my better buys. So, FUBU is a streaming service. CEO David Glenn were founded in 2009. Came out around the same time as Roku. Headquarters in the United States. Market cap, pretty big market cap. The 52-week high was $12, and the 52-week high was $57. So, I bought it 409 shares at $13, $13.90. But, enough is enough. Don't pay attention to a lot of these articles because they're biased. They're either going to be telling you to buy or sell or whatever. A good investor will hold. He'll be patient with time. He will not. He will not sell off too fast. I saw it yesterday when the day the bounce positive made it back up to where it's about to be. Stocks are risky, but the people telling you that you're going to lose money are in their own element. They have something biased. You're putting your money to work. It's called the Asian. This guy's the Asian investor, Fubu TV. Although shares of Fubu TV are in a scary downtrend, the business and subscriber outlook is positive. Fubu TV will continue to grow the number of paying customer accounts in ARP. Because of the steep drop in pricing, Fubu TV is very attractive as a long term investment in the expanding streaming market. I just doubled my Fubu TV position. And so. They're really being punished by the market right now. They have strong platform metrics. They more than doubled their subscriber growth. And they're doing really good business. So they added a something was. Their third quarter revenues have gone up 156% year over year, while subscription revenues increased 158,000, 158% year over year. So I'm going to try to hold on this because I feel I had one article compared to this to the next Netflix. I don't think it's the next Netflix. But streaming is in. Fubu TV is growing revenues even faster subscribers. So they felt like a two tire monopolization strategy to accomplish this. And it's a subscription business and ad focused business, which means they make a lot of their money off commercials. A lot of these streaming services make money off the commercials. That's how they do it. You make so much money off commercials. TV does not exist without commercials. I pay four dollars extra or less for who who I make HBO Max because I get commercials. So I only pay ten dollars. They're currently responsible for eighty eight percent of their platform wide revenues, with the advertising business's massive potential. <laughs> Yeah. One big problem is is that they're also not as profitable yet. The business losses are kind of like one thing. But you got to remember this is a great business. Revenues up 156% in the last quarter. Net income 61%. Net profit margin 84%. All of these as a whole. I want to say focus on don't let people get to you. And don't. Don't even think about it. If they do, ignore it and walk off. Really and figuratively, they can't do anything to you. And they really can't. If they think they are, they're just joking and will BS it. If they're gonna mess with you, just mess with them. No, just don't say anything. Just give them a slip, or your happiness is more important than their little agenda.
Net profit margin is up 84%. Operating income, net sales, and cash are down. Cash on hand and cash in revenue. Which is really operative and tells us about how important a business is doing its cash on hand. But the revenue is up. Which shows they're doing really profitable as a business. This is one that I want to buy. Let's go some more news. Um, why food would TV can become the next Netflix? This is interesting. I don't even really want to mess with this. I'm going to hold up my rock. A patient investor will become a better investor. Right now, the next paycheck, I'm only going to invest in net in Fundrise. You put $500. You get to put as much money and buy the commercial properties that you want to. You just buy it in there and buy dividends. This is very huge. This is very huge. Let that girl go. Let her be with her boyfriend or husband or wife or whatever. And focus on your career. This is relevant. Why Fubu TV could become the next Netflix. A third understanding of Netflix's early days will help investors identify a few similarities between Netflix and Fubu TV. I like that the slight last summer is making me so rich. This is to my benefit. I will thank her later on. And I will say positive things about him. I'm just happy that's making me rich. Say so good things about it and forget about it. Let them be with each other. Fubu TV is operating in a crowded market. So did Netflix in its early days. So, due to lack of margin, so they're down 25%. And it, this is, article is right that there's so much below their intrinsic value. If you valued on them on their discount dividend model, or whatever, or whatever it is in our master's degree. At the time of this article, was trading at 22. Now it's trading at 13. So I got 400 shares. So if it goes up $10, that's four grand. And keep going on. Netflix was one of a kind of business. Is FUBU that kind of business? We don't know. Netflix was introduced, was one of a kind. Blockbuster was in by then. Early days, they generated just $5 million in total revenue in 1999. But they grew. FUBU is like the same thing as Hitler. They offer all of it $65. FUBU has a sports centric business model. Like well, for sports, I got I got YouTube TV so I can watch all my sports on there. And for streaming, I got watch whatever I want on Netflix and Hulu Max, Hulu HBO Max. Which the best is HBO Max because they got all the I'm watching the Pacemaker, Pacemaker, the scene that John Cena. So their probability is years away, but it takes time. Remember, it takes time. For companies to become profitable by summer this is not one thing that I'm lying is that I can see this I'm gonna go step out and get a beer at Applebee's but the thing about this business is is that this could become a $50 stock by the end of the year and a $100 stock in a couple years. So people who are 20s, 30s, and 40s need to hold. You hold your Roth and your Fidelity. I got a Fidelity Roth for it. It's, it's, it's retirement stuff. So that's a good thing. Number one, you want to hold. You take profits and sell off. And re buy back in again. What's the problem? Boo boo. It's a like clear stock winner. 